uh, trailer. Got to see some gameplay of that. That was pretty exciting. Do tell me what you thought of that uh, in the comments there. Thank you guys for joining me, by the way. Um, you guys know I don't stream too often. I had the opportunity to do it today, so I thought that was pretty exciting. Are we sure the audio is up? All right. It must have been a, must have been a thing. All right. Um, so, yeah, Battlefield 1. Of course, we saw the trailer for In the Name of the Tsar. Um, that was pretty awesome. I, I did get an opportunity today to play some Lepkow Pass uh, for Battlefield 1. Unfortunately, uh, I did not... Uh, well, un unfortunately, it's, it's embargoed, so I can't show you what I got to play today. But I promise some of the gameplay was really, really good. It's a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Good chunk of weapons. Good map. Lepkow Pass was a lot of fun. Um, definitely, definitely enjoyed that. Um, so, uh, today, yeah, all we're really going to do, we're going to be able to play some, uh, some Conquest. And normally when you guys watch the stream, I always play the DLC maps. Today we're going to do Vanilla. Um, I'll be able to look up the uh, server number if you want to pop in for a little bit. We'll probably be playing for about a half hour, maybe a little bit longer. Um, reading all the comments in there. Hey, everybody. Uh, Mozzie, I saw you in there. Uh, but, yeah, so if you guys have any, you know, questions about the Lepkow Pass DLC, I would be happy to uh, talk about some of that and uh, give you my impressions on it. So we will wait for uh, the lovely Giant Shadow to load here. Everybody loves Giant Shadow, right? Everybody? All right. Go in there, and uh, I will have you guys know I bayoneted a lot of people today. I did manage to get Jack Frag, so that was exciting. I think somebody is behind me. All my settings are messed up. I have to go in and fix that. I feel like I'm moving through water, and I'm unable to... Unable to do anything. All right, where are we at? Um, oh wow, yeah, all of this, all of this needs to change. Let me read some comments. What was the snow like? The snow was actually pretty cool. It gave all of the maps a uh, a real different flavor, which uh, I thought it was going to be, you know, a little bit hokey. I, I thought it was going to be, oh, okay, it's uh, you know, it's snow. How much, how much difference is it going to make? Uh, and it, it actually made quite a bit of difference because you had to go in and uh, you know, kind of retrain your eyes to look for things. You know, if we play, we'll say Suez, right? You know how to uh, view uh, people as they're as they're on the map, right? Like you, you can look and see, oh, okay, there's a soldier, right? Because your eyes have adjusted to that. Do 80 on that. This is the fun part where you guys actually get to see my controller settings. Stick sensitivity, no. No, we're doing we're doing this. Alright. Hold on. Alright, now we should be able to do okay. Snowstorms? Um I don't recall if I actually saw any snowstorms, but uh, there was definitely some different different weather out there. Are the guns good? The, uh, there, there is the, the, uh, the Fedorov Optomat, which is a new gun for the medic class, and that gun is beast. That is a fantastic gun. Um, and for those of you wondering, it is uh, select fire, so you can actually go from full auto to single shot. Um, in the game, and it was it was an awesome gun. That's something that uh, when the when the DLC comes out, you guys know I don't really pay that much attention to the medic class because I'm not a big fan of how the the, the weapons work uh, in that particular class. I don't think they're accurate enough. But um, the the Fedorov Optimat that was a awesome gun. Uh, movement on the snow is it any different? No. It's not. I did get my hands on the spear. Uh, I did get to spear a couple of people. Uh, I speared uh, Vin Vincenti, uh, one of the, uh, the the guys who does a lot of the... Um, oh, what am I talking about? I am so tired. <laughs> uh, one, one of the guys who, who does a lot of the cinematics, uh, he, he was on the receiving end of a, of a poke there. Uh, and 
that was pretty, pretty fun as well. Let me see here. Mozzie, if you're still in the chat, could you uh, say something for me here? Uh, but uh, no, the snow was really, really neat. Enjoyed that. Um, did get to use all of the different weapons. And they were all pretty great. When will we see footage? The only thing I can tell you about Love Cow Pass is that the embargo on it is to be determined. So unfortunately, it's something that uh, I, I can't tell you yet. I really want to, but unfortunately, it'll, it'll have to wait a little bit. Hey, Flack, will you buy the new Xbox One? Uh, yes, I will. I most, cert <laughs> most certainly will. And I know you guys are like, why don't you play on PC more? And it's like, I want to, but, uh, you know, I really enjoy the controller. And everybody gives, gives you crap about the controller, you know. Uh, but we were playing a game earlier on uh, Love Cow Pass, and I don't know, I went 40 and 18 and was top of the leaderboard. So people with your mouse and keyboard games, you got to step it up. Getting beat by a potato. Oh, seeing this person run around, I'm like, why don't they have a, <laughs> why don't they have a, a, a spear or a lance? Avalanches, I did not see any avalanches. That's not to say that they're not there. Uh, I'm really hopeful that we'll get some new um, Levolution type events. I think that would be really good for some of the maps there because uh, if you guys go on the Battlefield 1 website, um, you can actually see uh, some of the concept art for In the Name of the Tsar. And uh, on some of those maps, it looks like, yeah, you could definitely have an avalanche there. Uh, is there snow camouflage? No. However, um, it is actually pretty tough to see people on the Love Cow Pass map. Uh, the reason being, it's, it's not, you know, just all plain white snow there. Uh, there are lots of trees, tree stumps, you know, outcroppings of rock and that kind of thing. So it actually was quite difficult to see people on that map. Um, I was really surprised. Uh, Kyle Keith, I hope I'm saying that right, asking how was my trip to France? It was awesome, going to Verdun. That was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the content on that. Um, my only regret was that uh, I wish I bought a stabilizer for the GoPro so I would have better and more video footage for you. Um, unfortunately, uh, I, I thought there Image stabilization technology was better than it was, and uh, it was not. So uh, that was that was a bummer. I'm gonna die. I tried to get away. I tried to bayonet him first. I will tell you that, you know, who was it that I bayoneted so many times during the bayonet montage? Baron Von Games. Baron Von Games got bayoneted so many times, and I felt kind of bad about it, but then I didn't. Uh, is the double barrel shotgun the only assault weapon you know of with the new DLC? Yes, it is. It comes in two variations. You've got kind of your standard shotgun, and then there's a slug variant of it. But that thing, oh man. Like, it's kind of reminiscent of the old 10A, um, but, you know, it's balanced appropriately where you've only got two shots with it, so you got to make them count. Am I heading to E3 next? Yes, I will be at E3 to, not tomorrow, on the 13th. That's kind of the plan for that. Um, I'll be there to check out some games, see what... Battlefield's got going on there. Ah! 
Ding, ding. Oh. Oh, I got killed by the camping artillery truck. Darn it. Uh, did I play ba Battlefront 2? I did, however, uh, it wasn't working with the controller at the time, so I had to use mouse and keyboard, and I did not do that well. Did I try the bomber plane? The Ilya Moromets was not available in the build that we played, so unfortunately, no, uh, I did not. Uh, however, in the trailer, it looks really cool, and the fact that there are two of them tells me it's not a behemoth. So I think the only behemoth we're getting is the armored train which on the Lepka Pass map is pretty effective. If you think about some of the uh, maps that the armor train is on, like Amya, for example, um, there is not a lot it can do. Oh, that must be that artillery truck again. Still hanging out there. Any new tanks? No. Um, did I get to play Battlefield 1 at, on, on an Xbox One? I did not. I played on PC with a controller. Oh, you thought this was going to be easy, didn't you? It was not for you, son. Somebody just spawned there, or would... was that just him dying? I only thought for a second. I'm confused. Oh, silly med or silly, silly scout, silly scout. How does the lance work? It works a lot like how the saber works. Um, you know, the saber you would swing it with a lance. You kind of <clears throat> you <laughs> you poke someone. Um, and he does like this neat little uh, aerobatic thing where he, you know, spins it around on his face. It's like a giant drumstick, right? I use this to get away. I think I just saw a light tank over there. Yes, I did. I don't want to go there. Oh, that was a good shot. Kudos to that guy. That was a good shot. Uh, what weapons are for the assault class? Is it just the shotgun and uh, that's it? Or are there more SMGs or something different? Uh, Cutter, it is just the shotgun. From, from what I've seen, it doesn't mean there isn't going to be more stuff. Um, but I will tell you, playing the medic class, playing with the... Uh, oh, my brain is blanking here. The, the, the Fedorov Optimat, that thing feels like a really beefy submachine gun when you put it on full auto. Uh, it was great. You'll see it in the gameplay. Uh, the the Luck Cow Pass map was pretty big. And where am I now? At... EA Play, they've got uh, a couple live streams, uh, live stream booths, so that's where I am for this. It's a very nice setup. Very nice gentleman behind the uh, monitor here helping me out. Where is everybody? Fortunately, I don't have a, a setup like this at home, so I've got a whole bunch of lights in my face, and it's hard to see uh, the actual thing. Can you join the game? Uh, yeah, let me... Let me look at what server I'm on here. 301899, if you want to find me. If you want to come hang out online. MG1417, any good? It's awesome if you go prone and bipod with it. Then it was pretty awesome. I'm not doing a whole lot of uh, PTFO right now. I'm just kind of playing around. Because I can't see that well. Potato. Um, that's one thing, Cutter, with the melee weapon. I actually did not see the one that they show in the trailer. That was not in the build that we played, so unfortunately I can't say, hey, that was in there. Any guns I think is overpowering? That, <laughs> that Fedorov Optimat, that one is a little bit, a little bit intense for me. Um, but it was, it was fantastic, and in my opinion, the medic class needed it. Um, when that DLC comes out, that will be probably the go-to weapon for that. Uh, the new Scout Rifle, uh, it loads a lot nicer than the, uh, than the French Scout Rifle, than the LaBelle. It's pretty nice to shoot, actually. I've shot a real one in real life, and uh, people give the, the, the Mosin a, a real bad name in terms of accuracy and everything, and when I used it in real life, it was pretty darn accurate. Similar damage model, balance rate of fire. Um, about the MG14 on that, it has a similar rate of fire to uh, the MG15. Real similar to that. It's got a really neat reload um, because the magazine is like an exposed roll of, uh, of belted bullets, right? So it feeds in there and to reload it, the, the character animation like spins it 
So it like does this uh, this crazy little rotation thing. It looks really cool when you reload it. I got a couple pretty cool clips of that. Uh, they they did put the the Nagat pistol in the game. I will tell you that. Did I capture any BF2 gameplay? I did not, but uh, Mr. Westy uh, is going to be very nice and l let me borrow some footage for that. So looking forward to that once the embargo on that is up. When will we see the gameplay of the DLC? Um, well, not on the stream, unfortunately. Is there a big distraction on the map you played? Not really. Um, it is infantry only. Uh, Love Cow Pass is infantry only. Uh, so I will say that. So there's not, you know, one big tank rumbling around and, you know, just crushing everything. Or, well, I say infantry only. You, you've got airplanes flying around, but um, all you've got is cavalry. Why would you spawn me here, game? Dice, please. I'm in your house. What? Where? I'm going to go up there and put a bayonet in that guy. I'm only going to have like one foot to do it before I run off the side of the uh, of that thing, but I'm going to do it. All right. Over here. Yes, please spawn me. Spawn me by the the shelf. Uh, any talk with the devs about BF1 and Xbox One X? Um, unfortunately, no. I will be talking to one of the devs here later. So uh, I can maybe ask about that. Women weren't really fighting in World War I. Yes, they were. Don't be a douche. They were. I'm really tired of people saying that. So, you know, you can bury your head in the ground a little bit harder. Find the guy on top of that. Uh, find the guy on top of the uh, water tower. I'm thinking about. Uh, no, the train is on Lepkow Pass. Yes, you got the armor train. It's got a really cool little um, camouflage scheme to it. It's pretty neat. Say louder. Outside? Oh, doesn't bother me. Yeah, yeah, sounds good. How is EA play? A lot of fun. Did I use the Mosin they got? Yes, but unfortunately, I'm not a very good sniper, so. It did not uh, work out too well for me there. YOLO. There we go. I got one. Hey, Flag, do you think DICE can give us free weapons alongside the two free French maps? I don't know if the two French maps are going to be free. Um, if you bought the Season Pass, uh, certainly you'll get them and one thing I think is interesting about the DLC is that I, I think a lot of us are That guy's still up on top of that water tower. I wish I had my rocket gun um, A lot of people are thinking You know wow the DLC doesn't come out until September, right? Um, and quite honestly 
uh, quite honestly, people are like upset that it's it's not following the same thing. It's it's also like you you have to remember that we're probably not going to get another Battlefield One uh, map this year or game this year. Sorry, I'm trying to multitask and I am not good at it. Oh, that was juicy. That was that was good. I want to get on that gun so I can get the guy on top of the water tower. Any new uh, elite classes? Unfortunately, no. Is there a new amphibious vehicle? Uh, they did confirm that in an announcement. Um, so there is one. I don't know that much about it off the top of my head. But the assault class, I mean, the new shotgun for the assault class is pretty awesome and it's it's a double barrel shotgun so it's got its own limitations and everything um, I want to go get this guy on top of the water tower also I want my lance back come here how close do I need to be to you Will I release gameplay of the new Call of Duty while at E3? Uh, I don't know. If they if they let me, if I haven't if I haven't burnt that bridge to the ground, I don't know. Uh, thoughts on the DLC as a whole? Uh, unfortunately, I only got to play one map. However, I do really like, and this kind of goes back to what I was talking about earlier. I do really like the way that. Uh, Dice is now kind of approaching the DLC as seasons almost um, whereas you know you're gonna have <laughs> why 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 good god why is that there oh man who's driving this nobody all right I'm driving it uh, you know what? I could stay and help capture that objective, and I feel bad for doing this. I was already at kind of low health, but that was pretty terrible. Let me get up here. All right, be very, very quiet. Oh, and he's gone. Oh, man. I'm all the way up here for nothing. Good Lord. I can't win. I can't win. Are there camping spots? There, there are a couple high hills that you could get on. Um, I was playing against uh, White Boy 7th Street, and he was up on those hills all the time. It was quite frustrating. Crap, that's a, that was a uh, cavalry guy. A banana revolve in the DLC. I don't know what that means. Are there blizzards? I don't know if there are blizzards. I did not see any. Any news on turning tights or apocalypse? Uh, if you go to the Battlefield 1 website, um, they did I think explain a little bit more about the Turning Tides DLC, but uh, nothing new on Apocalypse that I can tell you. All right, clearly I need to play the objective here. Let's go for this. Hey, Meat Shield. Uh, each team got, I think, three planes, I want to say. Um, but the real thing was that uh, there were a lot of horses on Lepkow Pass, so if you want a chance to actually go out and use the, the lance or the spear, you will have that opportunity. Um, there, are, there are a lot of them. Uh, do I have Russian DLC gameplay? Yes, but I can't show it to you yet, unfortunately. Will I be covering all the info news when E3 is over? Uh, when EA Play is over, I will be. I'm only staying for the first day of E3. Favorite weapon of the DLC? 
uh, the medic class weapon, the Fedorov Automat. Definitely uh, the favorite one there. I'm trying to read all the comments here. All right. I wish I could tell you about the Ilya Mets. Didn't get to uh, didn't get to fly around in it, so I can't tell you. When can I show gameplay? I just spawn into a, a car and explode. Uh, when when can I show gameplay? As soon as they let me. That's all I can say. Least favorite weapon of the DLC. I did not care for the Nagant, the, the, the Moisin Nagant, but that's only because, only because I'm not a sniper person. Um, I did not think it was that terrible of a weapon. Uh, it just isn't, isn't my kind of, isn't my kind of weapon. So that's just, just my opinion there. <laughs> Please show us the gameplay. No one will know. I think they'll find out. I think I'm just guessing, but I think they they might they might find out. Considering I'm at EA Play, and the community managers are outside the door right now, so they'll probably know. Ooh, there's a guy. Let's do this right. No, darn you, bayonet nerf. Uh, that's still something I wish that they fixed. No, 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 no. I am not doing well this game. It's hard. The, uh, the screen that I'm using is like a uh, good probably eight feet away from me. It's a, it's a big TV. It's just I can't see the detail that I would if I was at home, you know. Oh good. Yeah, I don't want to go that way now. Go back over here. Did anybody blast Ra Ra Rasputin over the bike? Unfortunately, no, they did not. That would have been fun. I would have cracked up if they used that as the actual trailer music. And if you guys aren't familiar with that song, you should go Google it. That's a tank. How good is the Lance? Uh, I'd say it's on par with the actual Saber. My favorite BF1 vanilla map? Crap. Uh, favorite vanilla map from Battlefield 1? St. Quentin Scar. St. Quentin Scar is good. Uh, Glenn, there is at least six weapons. Um, for the full details on the Battlefield website, um, you'll actually find the proper number. I think it was 11 total, I'm not sure. You'd have to go back and, and look that up, but it is on the Battlefield website under the News tab. I think I hear the guy. There's one. And get up the thing. Oh, that was that was nice. Nice job, dude. Rocking the tag too. Make me proud. Did I get to use the 1912 box grenade? Um, unfortunately, no. Is anyone else streaming there? There are going to be a number of people that are streaming. Um, I don't know who is and when they are, but uh, there will be. So if you're hanging around on. Twitter, and you follow pretty much any of the, the, the big streaming people. I would like it if there was a new campaign story with the DLC Saburo. Um, unfortunately, I don't think that there is, but I do wish that there was, because I'm all about single player stories. Somebody's shooting at me. I think they are. Oh, what the heck? What the heck? Ah. Uh. Are all scouts women? Uh, on the Russian team, they are. But honestly, you wouldn't know because they have really cool-looking hoods that they wear. Um, and when they bayonet charge, it's actually pretty scary, not going to lie. 
I don't think you're the only one who's hyped about the double barrel shotgun. I think everybody's excited about that. See, they nerfed the bayonet charge. They can't nerf my use of the bayonet charge. It doesn't work that way. All right, let's cap this here. All right, any new behemoths? Not that I saw. Uh, Mosinagant, new sniper rifle, yes. Shotgun, it's not really OP, like it's really powerful, but the thing is if you miss, um, like you gotta reload. You only get two shots with it, it's only a double barrel. So I think it's balanced quite fairly because you have to reload. Um, in the build that we played, you could put a bayonet on it. So just think about that. I'm not sure if that was a, a glitch or it's intended to be that way. Does the snow plow on the train kick up a lot of snow? It does. It's actually pretty cool when it runs by and you see that. Shotgun slug version. Um, I did not actually use it. I just used the regular one. Um, I did have a lot of fun. For the first about half of the capture session, um, I played with the HUD off. So trying to get you that, that real realistic kind of feel there. Am I missing that guy? There we go. Shotgun with a bayonet on it, yes. We have lost objective Charlie. Where we at? That's why I don't like Sinai Desert, because I know that they're all over. No, I missed my charge. He missed it too, though. <laughs> uh, how many flags are there on the map? Um, I want to say it's at least six. Lovecat Pass is a pretty big map. One thing that I don't care for in its current iteration is that I think there, it's too far to run from your spawn to the first flag. I'd like to see that a little bit shorter. What server am I on? We are on uh, 301-899. So come revive me because I'm doing pretty terrible right now. Mop it up. There's still a baddie around here somewhere. I think he's around this other side. Is he up there? Is see something? No. Good thing. I'm hallucinating. I don't know if you could hear like Jeff and Dan in the back. Yeah, I okay. You guys saw. I walked past there. He was not there. He was not there. Bunch of shenanigans. Thank you for the revive, dude. You are awesome. Hide for a minute. Yes. Hello, sir. I can't find this guy. Still one guy out here somewhere. The problem is that this capture point is gigantic. I'm not sure if that shot was at me or just happened to go by me. There we go. There you are. Come on. That's a pilot. That's a pilot. Ow. I just walked over there and <laughs> looked like there's nobody there. There is nobody on that rock when I ran by. Uh, Austrian-Hungarian army in any of the maps? Uh, I assume that it was the Austro-Hungarian army. Uh, I believe it was because the sniper had the, uh, the Austro-Hungarian field cap. So uh, I believe that was. Uh, it's just the, the Mosinagant 91 on the variant. Let's see, I'm not sure where we're at on time. So if you guys have any other particular questions, do ask. Um, on the note about any uh, the Russian guys having any cool clothes, uh, some of them do wear the, uh, the quintessential prototypical fuzzy hat. You do see that. Nope. Um, you also see the neat hood that's on the scout class. 
That's really neat to look at. Got to try and get over here and get some cover. I am so tired of that guy. The snipers on this map are terrible. Um, what other armies do I think would make a cool addition to the game? Um, I think you could add Serbia. I think Serbian army was pretty cool for World War I. Uh, no light transport vehicles on Lepkow. It's just the planes and horses. Which, honestly, that's probably good. I mean, because cavalry can be really overpowered. Uh, for the map that I played on, there was no new planes. Let me get on this to help cap it. I was in sweet spot range. I don't remember. I suck. Don't watch the stream. Four or six maps in the DLC. I believe there's six. Does the Mosin have a sweet spot? I believe it does. Mosin variants? Oh, sorry, sorry. I understand what you're saying now. Um, there is an infantry version and there is a sniper version. So, um, if you're one of the people who really likes the infantry variant, you do get that. Flag locations are... Is he? All right. Well, we, we, we've had a good half hour, folks. Uh, unfortunately, this is all I get to do. So um, I do hope you, you guys enjoyed watching the stream here a little bit, talking about things. I enjoy talking to you guys. I enjoy playing with you guys. So, uh, well, Joe, what was your question? I got time for one more question. So if you tell me that, um, I, will, I will be happy to, uh, to answer it. So. Give me just one second here and, and I'll wrap it up. To wait for the input lag here. Uh, big valleys or rivers on the map? Yes, valleys everywhere. Uh, and on Lepkow Pass, the secret is flanking. It's something I, I went on like a 10 kill streak in about 20 seconds. It was fantastic. Uh, well, Joe, I did try to answer. Um, don't have any other info on that, so unfortunately that's, that's all I got for you uh, today. I will be breaking down trailers and all kinds of things and doing a lot of stuff this week in regards. Uh, if you guys follow on, on Twitter, I'm also giving away a lot of stuff, including copies of Battlefield 1, really nice mouse pad, if you saw that uh, tweet out there with that. Um, also, if you guys don't follow on Twitch, please do, twitch.tv slash flagfire. Trying to grow that a bit, trying to stream a little bit more. So uh, I do want to thank you guys for joining me, and I will see you next time.